guys, my name is Kenneth. Welcome to my channel where I do men's fashion and lifestyle videos. For today's video, I'll be showing you how I style sweater vests just like this one. So if you're interested in that, please stick around for more. So I don't know if you guys have been aware, but sweater vests have made a comeback. Sweater vests are in, they're such a trend. And of course, not styling a normal like dad or grandpa sweater vest, like in a formal kind of way, but actually taking it to another direction and making it into street style. I'll be taking five sweater vests that I purchased from Shane.com. I highly recommend that website, not sponsored. So I'll be styling those sweater vests in a street style slash vintage retro style slash kind of preppy style. It's all over the place, but trust me, these four outfits are bomb. You guys are gonna love them. So like I said, sweater vests have been making such a comeback and I was on YouTube searching how to style men's sweater vests and I really couldn't find anything. I found about like two videos maybe and I said, you know, I need to contribute to this movement, to the sweater vest movement. I need to do my own video. I need to do my own take on how I would style sweater vests and that is what we'll be doing today. So let's jump into outfit number one. For outfit number one, this sweater vest that I'm styling is actually the only sweater vest that I didn't purchase from Shane.com. This sweater vest was actually thrifted from eBay. It wasn't even a sweater vest. I actually gave it to my cousin. She's a seamstress and she made it for me into a sweater vest. And it looks amazing cutting it and making it into a sweater vest. Actually like revamped it completely. If you guys don't remember, I have styled this sweater before in a couple videos here on my channel and the sleeves were really small on me. And I said, why don't I just cut the sleeves, make this into a sweater vest and actually start using it more. And that's exactly what I did and it was the best decision that I've ever made. So I styled this with a black button down long sleeve shirt. So this is like a formal shirt. I got it from a local store. I don't remember which one. I went with black pants from the same local store and I finished off styling this outfit with some white plain shoes from Zara. Outfit number two, I love this outfit. So for this one, I went with this sweater vest from Shane. This is a plain white with some black detailing in the collar and in the bottom and on the sleeves. This sweater vest is a size medium. It fits me a little bit big, so it's more like an oversized piece. I decided on styling this with a plain black shirt underneath. Also, the black shirt is oversized. It's a size large. So as you guys can see, I'm really going for that oversized look for this outfit. I decided on using the same black pants and going with some white plain shoes from Zara. To finish off this outfit, to give it a little bit more of an oomph, to give it more of a visual element, I decided on using almost every jewelry that I own. But yeah, going with the jewelry really takes this outfit to the next level. Outfit number three. For this one, I'm wearing this sweater vest that I'm wearing right now. So for this outfit, I think this one is my favorite one. I think it's the one that makes most of a statement that really shows what a sweater vest can do, what a sweater vest can bring to an outfit. And it's such a simple look. I'm not even wearing a shirt underneath this. It's like this light baby blue sweater vest. It has some black and white detailing. And it is more like a knitted sweater vest. It has this detailing in the front, which I am obsessed with. This sweater vest is also from Shane. It's a size small. I decided on styling this with the same black pants. I decided on going with the black Converse, again bringing back a ton of jewelry. For this time, the only thing that I added was the gold chain, and I decided to make this outfit a little bit more extra and added these really big sunglasses from Shane as well.
Outfit number four. For this one, I went a little bit more laid back, a little bit more chill. Again, styling oversized. I think this is a size medium, but like I said, it's very oversized. It's very big. It fits me like a large. It's a very soft, knitted sweater vest. It's in a cream color. I decided on styling it with a white plain shirt underneath. For the pants, I decided on going with some light denim jeans. These are my staple jeans, the jeans that I wear all the time. This is the perfect shade of a denim jean for me. And I decided on going with some white Converse. For this fifth and final outfit, I decided on going a little bit more extra again and really combining things that maybe you would never think of combining. So I decided on styling this orange sweater vest, which was super inexpensive. It was the cheapest sweater vest that I bought from Shane. It was only $6. Can you believe that? Only $6. This one is in a size small. It's a little bit more fitted. I decided on styling this with a turtleneck underneath. Well, this one is more like a mock neck. The neck doesn't really fold. And I decided on bringing back that gold chain, adding it, making more of a visual element. Again, going with some light denim jeans and finishing it up with a white Converse. So that's how I style sweater vests. I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know which sweater vest was your favorite and let me know which outfit was your favorite. And if you specifically like a clothing item that I use in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love for you to follow me on Instagram where you could see a ton of pictures that I took wearing these outfits. I would love to see your support over there. And also I made a reels styling all of these sweater vests. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. If you guys have some recommendations of things that I should style, outfits that I should create, fashion videos that you would like me to film, please let me know again in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.